Hi guys, welcome to ABCPE, where we try and make the sometimes difficult concepts of VCEPE as simple as ABC. Today's lesson is on Newton's second law, which is the law of acceleration. Let's get stuck into it. Now the definition of this law is quite a mouthful. Please take note that Vicar have previously said that just using the equation of F equals MA is not going to be enough to get your full marks when addressing Newton's second law. So you will need to remember this. I think the easiest definition uh, you come across is the rate of acceleration of an object is dependent upon the net force applied to that object and the mass of that object. So what does that mean? Well, in simple terms, to produce maximal force, you need to have mass and acceleration as high as possible. Now, take David Warner, for example. He uses one of the heaviest bats in world cricket and he can accelerate it very fast. Therefore, in relation to Newton's second law, he produces a lot of force against the ball and as a consequence, it goes a long, long way. Have a look at this. That's him in the opposite hand. So, having a big heavy bat is all well and good for a professional sportsman like David Warner. But what about if you're trying to get a little young person to have some success? Here we've got my daughter Layla, who's four years old and she's trying to swing a nice light bat. <laughs> no problems there for her. But what happens when we give her a heavy bat? So here, rather harshly, I've given Layla a heavy bat or one with a greater mass that she can really struggle to get any acceleration on so she struggles to get any force onto that ball. Here she is explaining why she's not happy. Okay, I know. Why? Okay, try this one. As you can see, she tried her best, she tried to accelerate as fast as she could, but because it was so heavy, she really struggled to hit it. Therefore, if sometimes, if something is too heavy, but you can't put enough acceleration on it, then the force that you're going to produce is not going to be enough to have success. So for little kids, they're going to want a lighter bat in order to be able, that they can have, be able to accelerate it so they can have enough force on the ball to achieve some success. Okay, let's have a quick crack at an example question. So explain using Newton's second law why an under 10 cricket player should use a light bat compared to a heavy bat. And we'll give it this one two marks. Again, even though it's two marks, we still want you to go deep with these questions. So start with your definition. The rate of acceleration of an object is dependent upon the net force acting upon that object and the mass of that object. And because there's an equation for this one, let's chuck that one in as well. Force equals mass times acceleration. Now the difficult part is the explanation. So in this case, the young cricket player needs a light enough bat so they can produce sufficient acceleration onto that bat that that can then be produced onto the ball. Here's a quick example of an exemplar answer. Now the other way that Newton's second law is often applied is when we're talking about sprinters or perhaps bike riders and when they become heavy it's actually going to be a real detriment to performance. So when force can remain constant somewhere the heavy mass is going to accelerate slower than someone with a lighter mass. And I know we don't really like mathematics here as PE students but if we change the F equals MA to acceleration equals force divided by mass, then the heavier mass is going to lead to a decrease in acceleration. Let's put that one into action. So let's go back to the 2018 VCAR exam where this is question 10B. It says the cyclist's head is accelerating away from the other cyclist. That is some key information. Then asks us to use Newton's second law to explain how if the force is equal, how this cyclist at the front is accelerating away. 
Now again, we wanted to go deep with these answers. So the first mark that VCAR gave was for the definition. So the rate of acceleration of an object is dependent upon the net force acting on that object and the mass of the object. So learn your definitions. Then throw in the equation. Force equals mass times acceleration. Finally, the more difficult part, where we're trying to explain this process. And in this case, if force is equal, the rider in the front must have a lighter mass than the rider in the back. And this lighter mass enables them to accelerate away from the other cyclist. And if you can put that down, that'll get you two out of two for that question. Okay, that's it for Newton's second law of acceleration. If you have any questions, please contact us at ABCPE. Uh, and if you want to visit our website, you'll see some information on tutorials. You'll be able to buy some study notes. Uh, there's seminars coming up. So please visit us at abcpe.com.au or look us up on Facebook. Questions are most welcome. Thanks, guys. Bye.